Hey, it's Lucas here at Hanby Glass Studio. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to do a basic mandrel bead. It's fairly simple, and let's get to it. First, we need a mandrel. Some bead release. There's many different kinds, pretty easy to find. A stand to let everything dry in, and those are the tools we'll be using. Let's get started. First, you're going to want to stir up your bead release to make sure it's nice and smooth. Then you'll dip in your mandrel, allowing the excess bead release to run off. Now, in the very back part of the flame, you will slowly heat the bead release until it becomes a bit of a matte look to it. I like to get a whole bunch of them prepped at once due to the fact that it takes about an hour before they're really dry and set before you can use them. If you're not careful and you try and use it too early, the bead release will heat up quickly and explode and that's not any fun. Let's get started. You'll notice that the video is very dark right now. I've adjusted ISO on my camera and added a didinium lens to help cut out some of the lens flare and allow you to see what's happening inside the flame. So first you want to pick the colored glass or clear glass that you're going to use. Since this is the very basic version, I'm just using clear glass. It's a four millimeter rod. I've picked up one of my mandrels that I have prepared and warmed it up in the back of the flame. Once you see the bead release glow a little bit, you're able to add the clear glass. I like rotating the mandrel away from myself as I lay on the glass. The nice things about making beads on a mandrel is you're able to make multiple beads at the same time. They can either be the same size or different sizes. But you have a lot of extra space and it's nice to use it. The 
since I'm doing just a basic version right here, I'll be melting them in little by little and allowing gravity to help me make them perfectly round. If you're going for a different shape, there are different tools that you can use to shape them, but right now I'm just going for a basic donut shaped bead, which is fairly easy. Heat up the glass, find the highest point or where you have more glass, and allow the glass to be at the top so that it droops down to the other side and keep turning until you get it round. If you are doing multiple beads on the same mandrel, I recommend skipping between each one. So go from one to three to five for your melting, and then go from two to four. That way the overheat keeps the other ones warm and you don't have to worry about cracking. Here I recommend getting some vermiculite to allow the beads to cool down. All you have to do is dunk the mandrel into it. And you don't have to worry too much about them cracking. If you can't, what I'm doing here is I'm coating the beads in soot, which also allows them to cool down a little bit slower. Let your mandrel soak in water for a couple of hours, which will help the bead release, release the beads. The problem I ran into here is I don't have vermiculite and I didn't let it sit in the kiln, so half of the beads that I made cracked. You can use a tool. This one I put a little bit of glue on it to help me release the beads and get a nice grip on them. Now you're going to want to get yourself a rotary tool such as a Dremel. You can also find round metal files to help clean out the bead release from the center of the beads. Here, I'm going to fire polish the center of the bead. You don't need to, 
I like to because I prefer not having the frosted look in the center. It's a personal taste thing. You can use a very sharp flame like I'm using here, or you can use a hand torch. Hand torches are quite a bit easier to use, but if you don't have one, a sharp flame will work just fine. Well, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell for new content. I'll be streaming on Twitch three times a week. Check my channel for the schedule. And if you have any questions, feel free to go onto our Discord and chat about glass or anything. So, thank you for watching.